Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Today we're talking about ENTPs and thinking. So the general misconception I see about ENTPs is that ENTPs, they are thinking types. But in fact, that's not the case. ENTPs, they are some kind of new version of monster. Somewhere in between thinking and feeling, not really on one or the other pole. So let's talk about what that pole is. ENTPs are F we have the thinking types on one end valuing effectiveness, success and achievement and logic and the feeling types on one end valuing kindness, cooperation and diplomacy. Then we have the ENTPs on a completely different pole valuing justice, system, law and games. So ENTPs they value games. They want there to be some kind of a game, some kind of a principle where people can win or fail. ENTPs, they want there to be some kind of law operating to guide fairness. So ENTPs, they like there to be systems, they like there to be a chance to succeed, like the thinking types, but they want these principles to be fair. They want to have a genuine chance to succeed in the system. So ENTPs are kind of the people that, the, the natural lawyers of the MBTI. In a sense that they can always think about what rules are going on, what uh, different principles do people operate, why, what are the laws and guidances of these principles, how do, why do these principles exi exist, and how can I manipulate these principles and use them to my advantage. ENTPs want there to be some kind of guiding principle of fairness, and they dislike unfairness. They dislike when people have more chances than others. They dislike when uh, there are people that can get what they want even though you have not had a chance to have your say. They dislike the fact that some people have an unfair advantage. ENTPs, they like there to be some kind of principle to operate to make sure that the system is an ethical one. There should be a system, but it should be an ethical one. There should be a, a good system that is responsible and that is in some way taking care of everyone's <laughs> what you say, lower, darker urges, because ENTPs, they recognize that everyone can have selfish urges. Everyone has personal ambitions. I have personal ambitions. I can be selfish. I know that as an ENTP. Basically, that's how ENTPs rationalize it. They think about and they recognize that they themselves can be very selfish. And so they want there to be some kind of laws and systems in place, some kind of agreement, some kind of mutual agreements that have been set up and defined with consequences. If the agreements are not met. So they want there to be agreements for themselves and for other people. So if other people have a chance to be selfish and to get away with it, they believe that they should have the chance to be selfish and get away with it. But ideally, there should not be a chance for selfish people to get away with anything. There should be some kind of mechanism holding people in place and guiding people. And uh, the overarching thing is this system should guide the society towards an effective and successful society. So the system should be in place to make sure that people can achieve their fullest potential. Ideally, the system should be navigated by some principles of effectiveness and efficiency. There should be, uh, it should be inspiring people, pushing people towards uh, improving, innovating and bettering things because in ENTP is an intuitive type first. ENTPs are not thinking or feeling types, they are intuitive types first. And change is the principal element of the ENTP. Change, innovation, opportunity. Those are the key things that ENTPs make decisions by. So ENTPs, they don't make decisions based on uh, what is, uh, uh, what they value more or what feels right or what the gut says. ENTPs make decisions on what will get me in the loop for the most opportunities, what will give me the most chances, what will offer me the most change, what has the most potential, what can drive transformation. I see ENTPs mostly working in areas focused on transformation and change. And that's where ENTPs are at their best. What can I acquire? How can I change? What can I do differently? What can be changed? What could, how can I transform this organization, this group dynamic, this uh, technology, this uh, system in general? So ENTPs, they are change makers. They're often operating from the idea that there are unfair principles, unfair advantages in the world. There are people that have uh, higher chances than others. There are things that are not working optimally. There are things that are um, 
not going right. And so what I see ENTPs do is they think about how can I make level the playing field. So what I see with ENTPs and INTJs, because this also applies to INTJs, is they work to, uh, what you say, level the playing field. Okay, one example is by making sure that everyone in the world has internet. Because if internet gives people a fair, unfair advantage to succeed, if some people have access to internet and others don't, uh, some people have more advantages than other people. So if you can give internet to everyone, you can make the world more fair. So that's the kind of things that I see ENTPs doing. They're really looking at, okay, the global scheme of events, what's happening in the world, what's uh, going on, what are the future plans, what are the developments that are happening in the world, and how can I work to make sure that these developments are fair and just, and that everyone has a chance to succeed. Now, the thing about this is this is not some kind of uh, bullshit fairness here. I'm not talking about just that, oh, anyone, everyone should have everything and everyone should have like this socialist utopia where everyone has and shares everything they, with everyone, you know. What I'm talking about is everyone should have a chance to succeed, but then what you do with that chance, that's up to you. ENTPs, they're all about individuality and freedom, you know, so it's all about making sure that everyone has a chance to succeed, but not about uh, necessarily uh, spoiling people or giving people things for free. So. It's uh, really about giving people an opportunity and then seeing what they can do with that opportunity. Because ENTPs, as intuitives, they are opportunity nuts. <laughs> They're nuts about opportunity. They want to see what people can do. They want to see what people are able to do at their fullest potential. Okay, what happens if we give everyone a chance? What happens if we give everyone an education? What happens if we give everyone access to the internet? What happens if we give everyone a Bitcoin? You know, what? The, how do these things change the world and how do these things change my environment and my situation what new innovations could come about how could the world be different you know a world where everyone has opportunities a world where everyone can bring innovation and that's a fascinating world with change and dynamics and new things coming up so that's kind of the end goal of ENTP to see uh, people transform society at a rapid pace to see rapid change as people are given power opportunity and potential and the chance to succeed. Finally, let's talk about consequences because consequences are a big thing to ENTPs. Actions have consequences. If you break the rules, you will face consequences. ENTPs are big on that. So if there are people that abuse opportunities and ab use opportunities in a way that's unfair, if they explode, exploit game dynamics or do things that the ENTP considers to be cheating, you break the ENTP's sense of justice because ENTPs, they have a very developed sense of justice. They really dislike when some people are given more privileges than other people. Just take a classroom environment. If the teacher has an authority that other students don't, or if there's a teacher's pet that is given uh, things that other people aren't, the ENTP is gonna react to that. The ENTP reacts to people that are given unfair chances to succeed, people that are cheating and getting away with it. And they really work in an interesting way here because ENTPs, they can cheat to prove a point. ENTPs can uh, manipulate people to prove a point. Really what they're doing a lot of times is they're proving a point. They're doing something, they're showing that the system or principle is unfair by exploiting it and revealing to everyone how unfair it is. And they're saying, hey, look at this unfair principle I just manipulated. Look at this uh, weakness in the system I just found. Look at this issue that I just noticed. This is unfair, right? I made this, I made, uh, I got this because I did this, or I was able to get a higher grade because I did this, or I was able to earn more money because of this simple, stupid thing. Should this thing be here? <laughs> no. So ENTPs, they can react to that kind of thing, and they can really choose to act in a way that this, uh, some would consider cheating, but they do so with an honorable intention of just making sure that the system works more fairly. So yeah, that's ENTPs' sense of fairness. Fairness is really important to an ENTP. What, when INTPs go crazy about efficiency, when ENFJs go crazy about kindness, when uh, ENTJs go nuts about things being effective, ENTPs, they go nuts about fairness. So <laughs> ENTPs can also go through this kind of fairness, uh, uh, unfairness kind of scene, you know. Imagine you're at a trivia game and you feel like some people are getting easier questions than other people. As an ENTP, you're gonna be like, what? or see that people are exploiting a rule to get more time or they're uh, finding some kind of uh, bullshit way to win the competition even though they're not smarter, even though they're not better. 
ENTPs can respond really badly to that. They can become really sulky, they can become really annoyed, they can become really prickly uh, about the fact that some people are acting in a way that's unfair. I am the smartest person here and I should win. But these people, they're doing things that I don't like, that are I consider unfair. So I'm gonna throw a tantrum about that. I don't know if you can recognize that. Or have you thrown, thrown a justice tantrum at somebody at some point? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.